Okay, looking at netty gas here. Okay, remember that the, the narrow, uh, the shallower the pullback, uh, the more bullish it is, or reverse, more bearish. Um, these are pivots. Uh, Natty Gas needs to hold this today uh, for this to continue on. Uh, these are the pivots for uh, the rest of the week here. And uh, let's see, going into next week too. And they will adjust with the price here. So right now, Natty Gas needs to hold uh, the 22 area, uh, and it ran up. I posted uh, that the, the daily, the weekly chart was getting a little frothy on unbalanced volume. So uh, let's see here. When I was mentioning uh, supporting three dollars, that's around here. Okay. I set an alarm underneath the low. Down here. Now, typically, um, natural gas peaks in, um, uh, let's take a look here. Okay, I'll show you this real quick here too. Here's a seasonal Natty gas. Here's seven years. Okay, so for the last seven years, peak has been in April. But if you stretch it out, put in more data points. Uh, okay. Here is 16 years back. Okay, this will include a couple of bull markets too. That's what I'm looking for here, and also bear markets. Uh, 2012 was a low. Okay. So we have 75% a, a of the time the high is in October. Now the follow through, of course, is if you're short that of, uh, because of this, uh, if there's a lot of use, that's where the April comes in. And going back to, this should work here, right? Okay, so this is, includes the bottom, coming into the bottom, okay? And uh, here's April, it listed as 100%. Um, so basically, if there's a pullback in natural gas, I would rather go further out uh, into like, say, 20, the 2018, 2019. I really believe that we're gonna have a mild winter next year, 2017, it's going to be even even better. Um, for right now, natural gas is basically fighting uh, seasonal, and also there's a few gaps up here. So it's basically it's it's doubled and moved into an area where there'd be logically uh, resistance, and um, uh, you're also fighting a seasonal here with October. Let's go back five. For three years okay back to April and that's just bunk okay okay so in uh, 25 minutes or so we're gonna get um, uh, crude oil we can look at that real quick okay so crude oil uh, did not uh, Brent went and took out the lowdown in here, but crude didn't. So uh, I'm assuming that more than likely than not, crude is going to test this area here. Uh, this trend line, um, 
uh, I'm going to go with it with the bulls. I'm looking basically for one last hurrah up here. Basically, the, the same type of pattern happened in, um, uh, in, in natural, basically looking like the same pattern that natural gas had. Uh, let's see if we can do it this way. Okay, so, all right, Canadian dollar. Okay. All right, I'm playing the net, uh, Canadian dollar at the same time here with the um, uh, uh, with uh, crude oil here. All right. So uh, let's see how this pattern is. Two hours should work. That'll work. Okay, so two hour. Okay, so roughly looking the same type of pullback pattern here. Okay, pullback pattern uh, bounced off of uh, pivot for the day. Okay, uh, crude oil is actually trading below it. That's why I thought that we probably more than likely will probably see this. This 49 level taken out. I also did move down my um, uh, from 49 um, down to 48. Okay, and basically leave the bodies up here. So uh, a swing higher, similar to like natural gas. Okay, there's money flow into it. That's what basically I'm looking for. It's the same type of pattern, um, but will it hold? Natural gas here. The what's it? I think three forty area. There's another round of. We're we're just marching into gaps here. Uh, it's pretty elongated on the move. Oops. Okay, so here's here's where we went down uh, into the two ninety area. I was looking for two eighty, but. That was my greed. Okay, so we moved on up. Okay, we had to pull back on here. I have an alarm set down here, say like 316. Okay, and we're poking our nose through here. Uh, like I said, the caution here is that we're, we're running out of gap. It's kind of like a 50% of a bigger move. Now, um, this can trade sideways for a while in the bigger picture. <laughs> Uh, as there's an accumulation phase. So just be careful. I, I'm not saying buy D gas, but I'm also saying, you know, you're buying a breakout here into a seasonal, so you have to be very cautious and after a big move. And oil is the same way, looking for a swing higher uh, into this, but I'm looking that folks would probably start to, to sell into it. Uh, we do have the dollar weaker this morning, and then that uh, should help out commodities. But we've noticed that um, uh, things aren't working that way, that the dollar was actually stronger and oil did move higher with it. Okay, so oil. Okay, so here's oil and the pivots that it has to hold today. So we basically have to hold the overnight uh, high here. So I expect natural gas to go back into the 51s here. And if it does bust below the 49, I'd expect it to go to the 48. And it may pull natural gas back with it. Uh, they, they have kind of gone in tandem here. Yeah, natural gas, to, or excuse me, oil to, needs to get above the pivots to kind of hold this thing together. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Okay, so we'll say, we'll go back to 50-50 is a little bit high. I'll take 50-40, you know, 50-20, 50-40 area here. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll probably, on a spike, we'll probably see the, the 51 here. But it's one of these things that why I moved it down to 48 from 49 was that if we do go up to 52 area and it fails, 59, this area, 
the 49 will probably fail and then we'll head down to 48. And I'll leave that at that and do a video for um, EIA for crude.